Hopefully, by the end of this video, you should be able to decide whether Simitory Dreams Classic is worth buying on Steam. Originally released in 2007, Sumatoy Dreams is a drunk, physics-based sumo wrestling simulator involving four sumos battling out to be the victor. If you're a newcomer to Sumatoy Dreams, it's a good chance to get involved with some of that old 2000s video game nostalgia. For £3.99, I believe it's worth your time. Not only is it quite affordable, but you'll also be supporting the developer, Archie, to make more physics-based games. If you're a long time fan of Sumatory Dreams, is it any better than the old version of Sumatory Dreams that you perhaps would have downloaded on Gravity Sensation? And I can answer with confidence that yes, it is better. To start with, performance has been greatly improved. I don't know how, but perhaps now it's multi-core threaded. In terms of gameplay, there is an in-game mod selector so that you can easily jump in, change a map on the go, and play, so you don't have to shut the game down. Another welcome addition is the fact that the standing and walking feature now works properly. So if you choose it so that the sumo stand, um, after a certain amount of time, they will stand still, and uh, and it's actually quite fun, um, especially on trampoline, because you can see them trying to sort of stay still. It's, I like it. Lastly, a very welcome addition is the uh, camera controls. They have uh, been improved, I've noticed. Um, so for example, on my transport maps, uh, when you get to the end of the track um, and one of the guys falls off, the, uh, the camera no longer pans out um, uh, and you can hardly see them. So it stays with them so you can see what's going on. And it, yes, that's a very welcome addition. So yes, um, Archie has confirmed that Sumatory Dreams 2 is uh, it's, it's in the process. It's you know it'll be here sometime in the future, and uh, but, but so then is it worth getting Sumatory Dreams Classic then? Well, that is entirely for you to decide. Uh, I believe it's worth it. Not only this, but you'll be supporting Archie and Gravity Sensation to make more games. Quite recently, they released Tricky Machines, which is the successor to uh, Tricky Truck. It's got a fantastic in-game editor so you can make your own maps and stuff. Something that I haven't really tried, but there have been some amazing maps made, uh, one of which I would like to show you now, which is uh, one of my favorites. No doubt uh, Sumitoy Dreams 2 will have a, an editor as well, so that would be fantastic to see people uh, making maps. So you might want to know, okay, so uh, can I make maps in Sumitoy Dreams Classic? Yes, you can, following this trick. Uh, my recommendation, as always, is to take uh, one of your favourite mods and uh, just mess around with it and see what happens. Perhaps you may think I'm trying to be annoyingly modest, but I'm not lying. It's all about messing around with numbers and eventually the numbers make a picture in your head and uh, that's all it is. I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. All I know is that uh, if I change these numbers 
things happen. So yeah, modding the scripts is, uh, is good fun in simulatory dreams. And me personally, I believe that uh, I have uh, done all that I wanted to do. Derailer for me is is uh, my most favorite map. And I had to go back with simulatory dreams classic and update a lot of my maps because obviously there'd be some very small uh, physics quirks uh, uh, changed. So I had to change some of the maps so that they function correctly. And uh, Derailer, I believe, uh, works better in simulatory dreams classic than it did before. So yeah, so the performance is better, the camera controls are better, while well, the camera is better. You can change mods in-game. The sumo wrestlers will now stand or walk if you want them to. So yep, yeah, I believe Sumatory Dreams Classic is worth your time. And uh, thank you Archie very, very much for making Sumatory Dreams. And yeah, we all look forward to uh, seeing Sumatory Dreams 2 at some point in the future. Thank you for watching.